all right what's up guys this is wolfx23 back with some rocket league videos as you can see we got our blue card nah just kidding get that out of here we're going straight into xcom i kind of did a video like a while back but it, it wasn't all that um the quality was horrible because i was using the playstation uh share whatever thing and you know like it's good but it's not it's not that good if I get far enough, I might add like my friends in it, but <laughs> I don't know. Cause last time I did a run where I had my friends and they all died in like the first two missions and I felt kind of bad. Um, the difficulty. Now I gotta say I was struggling. Like you might look at it like veteran. Uh, that's not, that's not that high. This commander and this legend. I was struggling in veteran. And I barely made it out of Rookie. Like, I, I was doing all right with Rookie. I don't, I don't play XCOM that often. This is, like, literally my first XCOM game. So, we're gonna go Veteran. Let's let's see what Rookie says. Appropriate for players of new tactical games. See, I'm not new. I, I beat the game before. But I just went one up. I just went to Veteran, and I was struggling the last playthrough. So, we're gonna, we're gonna do Veteran. If I pass this, then I guess we could work to, like, Commander. What, what does Commander say? A significant challenge for experienced XCOM 2 players only. See, I'm not, I'm not, I know about the game, but I'm not that experienced. So, we're just going to go straight into veteran. Let's see, tutorial. We don't need tutorials, okay? I know how this game works. In Iron Man game, your progress is saved automatically, meaning every choice you make is final. I, I think we're going to do Iron Man. Basically, I won't be able to, like, save ahead of time or change decisions. And, you know, it, it's going to be sad but I think I think it's good for you guys so iron mode these are like the DLCs the way I bought this game it was like it was like $20 for like an entire DLC um I'm gonna enable them but they only actually activate if you like pursue the mission or something you'll see you'll see I don't want to spoil nothing but yeah here's the good uh here's the good XCOM cinematic Basically, aliens are taking over, like, right in front of us. The, the thing about, like, the news nowadays, they don't, they don't cover the weather like they used to. You know, it used to be like, now we're gym with the weather. No. Now all they talk about are these gene therapy clinics, aliens just putting us in court martial. Like, I really miss knowing about the weather. Like, what, what, what weather is today? like 46 10 percent chance of rain but not anymore now everyone's talking about like these aliens his shades though <laughs> it looks like cops like aliens 2.0 damn that's an old show like I actually like really like this cutscene. There's one part, there's like one transition that I'm like, oh, this is awesome. I'm gonna try to do this. I'll let you, I'll show you guys. But yeah, overall, XCOM has some pretty good like like film eye, cinematic eye when it comes to like creating the cutscenes. See, look, they transition. This guy's like undercover. He's trying to like break through like surveillance. And like here we got we got ourselves like an establishing shot. We see the security like lights scan people. It's like really setting us up for like you know court martial law. Definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. I'm gonna raise the volume a bit. I'm not sure. I really don't want you guys to hear it through my mic, but it's possible. Wow, that's pretty loud actually. <laughs> oh, chill. <laughs> His look, yo. He's like, don't you dare ever do that again. There's our X4, not not C4. Don't don't get it confused. Two different materials. Now. See this this is the transition. It's coming up right now. So it goes like straight from the scene into like a monitor. It's like beast. 
All right, now we're doing our mission impossible to save the commander, which is me. So for some reason, I'm like, I haven't played the previous games, I guess. The previous games like kind of assume that you lost as the commander. So in the previous games, you get captured like at the end or something. Assuming, assuming. These long loading titles, I'm definitely gonna have to like cut these out later. We're heading into the city Operation to Gate Crasher. Something that will get people's attention. Neutralize any security forces in the area. Keep your heads down. Yeah, basically we're waiting for this to load. Uh, looks like we got two guys. Um, we'd like to have a girl on the team. I mean, this is not looking good already. For our ratio, we have to meet a certain. Seriously, there's not a girl. None of you guys are girls. <laughs> wow. If I lose someone here, like, I can only imagine how the future is going to look. Alright, so we got our nice pimping jet. Everybody just hops off. And yeah, we're going to we're gonna rescue the commander, a.k.a. me. Oh, we're not even rescuing the commander. Wow, we're, we're just destroying... We're just destroying, like, a statue for some reason all right so you know how it is XCOM you gotta you gotta use your cover definitely um and let's just watch our corners I I don't wanna it, it may look like a easy may look like a easy uh okay. like a setting but I, I don't wanna underestimate it, it's XCOM you, you don't wanna underestimate at all so we got Luke, Marcus, that's a cool name, Marcus. Oh wow, I didn't even move him. <laughs> I gotta get used to these controls again. I just literally put him out in the open and told him just just watch it. Everyone else has like cover and like for this guy I was just like, oh just, yeah you're fine, just stay there and like watch the corners. See little mistakes like that is gonna get me killed. I'm really lucky like this is the beginning of the game. And like they're not really gonna like punish you yet, but yo, where the aliens at? <laughs> All right, Aiden. Oh, that's a cool name, Aiden. So basically, we're just we're moving and we're moving behind cover because we actually don't know where the aliens are at. So I don't want to like run in, encounter like five aliens at the same time. I really want to take things slow. Especially like this is the first mission. Like if I lose everybody on the first mission, that's just like I can't go back. All right, we got some aliens up ahead. Got some aliens somewhere over there. I'm gonna like kind of check through the windows. Maybe they're inside. Maybe they're not. But we did hear movement. I think there's a way you could kind of look in the windows. But if you go through the windows, then you alert them. So, we're going to have to be like super stealthy Roger. about this. Alright, Marcus. Move up. I really thought we were saving me though. Like, really? They they put me on hold? They like... Alright, we got movement. They like literally were like, oh, commander's fine. Let's blow up a statue. Oh, damn. This is a big building. Well, you know what they say, you can't have too much high cover. So yeah, like, you're able to climb stuff, you get a ladder, you know how it is. I say, like, you guys are, like, ladder experts. Moving on target location. Yeah, the beginning part's, like, kind of, like, watered down. But I'm really looking forward to the character customization. I really like how it is in this game. It's not like like crazy where you can make like two different well like you can't make like forty thousand combinations but it's like enough especially for a game like this like it's enough to get you invested on the characters and especially the fact like when they die they're just gone it just sucks it's like no Yo, these aliens are everywhere I'm assuming they're out on the streets. Like, I'm assuming they're just outside chilling, you know, just doing alien things. And we're here, like, trying to destroy, like, their statue that represents everything. Ooh, there we go. These guys make up the bulk of the advent forces we've dealt with. They're 
well-disciplined and well-equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. See, like, um, what's his name? Uh, Central, who's, like, our secondary, like, military guy. That He was just talking to us. He gave us a briefing about the aliens. He gives them, like, an awesome, like, intro, but he's, like, the easiest guys in the force. Like, I'm not even worried at all. Wait, he has a shot? How do you have a shot? This guy's MVP. He, watch him be a sharpshooter. Who's this? Meta? Yash Meta. He's going to be a sharpshooter, trust me. How the hell does he have a shot from here? And he's like a rookie. All right, all right. We'll, we'll think about it. I don't, I don't want to engage yet. Not everybody's in position. <laughs> Basically, I'm trying to abuse this high cover. Wait, do you have a shot from here? Nope. See, you're not going to be a sharpshooter, Luke. Could already tell. <laughs> Bad habits, dude. Understood. Moving out. All right, that's gonna give him some, some visual. So if he drops down, he can actually see them. Uh, so the problem with these guys, even though they're the lowest of the low, um, they do have one thing. I Moving think out. they have grenades. Like the aliens have grenades. So if they're lucky, they could literally like toss a grenade up. And probably like explode a few of these guys. Um, I don't want to chance it, so we're just gonna overwatch. Everybody's gonna overwatch. Sit tight. I don't know how he has the shot. I'm still on that. Like, how is he able to take a shot from here? Is it only in this tile? Yeah, it seems like it. I mean, who knows? That might actually like kill someone. So I'm gonna leave him there. What else? What else? Um. Like, I want to ambush them, but we might get spotted. Okay, I'm, I'm going to bring you up then. All right, Luke. You have to trust me here. Oh, he has... Okay, he has shot on all three. That's good. He Like, they have high percentage, but these guys are known to miss. Like, I'm not... I'm not even impressed. Okay, so he'll get spotted if he walks into these tiles. I mean, if that's the case, is he gonna get spotted here? It doesn't say it, but I feel like he will. And I don't want them next to each other. Wait, that's the only place he could, that's the only place he gets covered. All right. All right, Muller, you better not like mess it up for us. Okay, we're good, we're in the clear. I don't know how you have this shot though. Watch him not land it. Like I'm talking all about this shot, but like he's not gonna land it. I think I'll keep you here. Maybe you could throw a grenade from here. Heading there now. Do you have grenades? Yeah, he does. All right, let's see if he could throw a grenade. Nope. <laughs> he has no arm. He can't throw it a little bit over the building. Just a little bit. That's fine. Okay. Um. I don't even know. I guess you'll overwatch. 90. That's a good, that's a good hit. I think I'm gonna use a grenade though. Wow, even you! Yo, he's, he's at the edge of the building and he can't throw it like downstairs. Like, he doesn't need an arm. That's gravity for the most part. He just has to like throw it off his hands. Alright. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way and that means guns. Um which which one is which one is the alien that he could hit? I can't even tell. I cannot even tell. Where the hell is that? That's the one thing about XCOM, like you don't really know who you're aiming at. I'm assuming that's the third okay, so that's the third guy. That's the third guy on the right. I'm assuming it's this guy. So let's take care of these two. I can't, I'm still, I can't go over the fact that they can't throw a grenade downstairs. Alright. That's, that's one down. down. Now they're gonna get alerted. And you're like, oh my god, there's, there's enemies up there. Yeah, we're, we're on the roof, boy. <laughs> no, no, we're on the roof. We're not on the ground. Stop pointing there. Alright. So they get a chance to, like, react. He's behind a tree. Come on, somebody could hit the tree. Okay, he could hit the tree. There we go. I was about to say. 
Um, this could blow up the cover, but let's see. Let's see what our sniper got. He still has a shot. 52% granted, but you know, it's not bad. I, I think I like this guy already. Watch him be a sharpshooter. Uh, what do we do with you? I think we're going to use a grenade because it, it might kill. I'm not sure if it kills in the beginning, but I mean, does he has a, does he have a shot? 54. I don't trust 54s on rookies, so I'm going straight for the grenade. Let's toss that frag. frag out. Oh, he's from Canada. Look at you destroying everything. He died. <laughs> Here lies alien number two. All right, let's see what you got. 52%. You're probably not going to make it, but if you make this shot, like that's it you're you gotta be a sniper if he doesn't become a sniper then wait what you're gonna shoot the floor <laughs> look man i don't judge your method but i don't know if shooting the floor was the the best option there all right let's see what this guy does he's gonna try to head upstairs huh i hope he doesn't throw a grenade what the hell is he doing oh wow so he could shoot through the floor but i can't right <laughs> He used the same method. Nah, nah, I can't lose him though. Alright, you're, you're my last resort, but I, I don't want to lose you. You have a shot? 58%. Aw. Can you go downstairs? Yes, you can. Cool. Alright. This is like so risky. This is so risky. Okay, so I think I'm going to send him downstairs flank this guy yeah so i'm thinking i'm gonna send this guy downstairs flank him and if not i'll shoot with the other guy i just hope there's no other alien i mean we face three so this is like flanking him so i get a higher chance dude if you miss this shot i swear to god you're, you're off the team you're off the team what, what are you aiming at okay that scared me <laughs> that scared me he was like looking completely away all right, so wait, what was that? I saw a red light. Okay. So I think, I think there's still aliens around because they would have just told me like straight up. Oh, there's no en enemies in the AO. Blah blah blah. I have one guy who's already like wounded. Yep. Menace one five. You're near the target position. Thanks, Central. I'm just gonna overwatch. I don't. I really don't want to lose someone. This is like the beginning, and this guy already got shot. I don't know if they were like trying to send me like a warning, like, "Look, man, we're the aliens. We're gonna mess up your whole squad if you continue." Damn, yo, he, two HP. Like another hit is just gonna kill him. Uh, what? Why would you go through there? What would you go through there? Okay, I was scared. I thought that... Wait, there's still aliens. Yeah, there's aliens. It wouldn't do that. I think it wouldn't do that if there were aliens. If there were not aliens at all. Alright. Let's not get overconfident. Up oh, there we... Wow. Three. Nope. This is bad. This is actually not good. <laughs> like, look how far they are. Like, there's no way we're getting shots. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna move him into full cover. I don't trust this half cover nonsense and then this guy is like 2 hp and he's like the closest one like if anyone's gonna shoot him it's gonna be those two yo <laughs> these aliens are savages man nah i don't even know where to put him <laughs> i would put him here but it's like then he's closer like he's closer to that guy i i don't even want him like here can I put him? I want to put him like in high cover actually. Because there's less chances of him being hit from like 
the third floor than there is with him being on the same ground level. I put you on Overwatch. And we have no other full cover, do we? Alright, alright, alright. Alright, guys. <laughs> I kind of want to put him over the dead body. But that'll be, like, a little selfish. I think I'm gonna have to do that, though. Because this is full cover. But if I move, like, outside the blue range, like, if I land on an orange square, they can't, like, they can't take an action, which is, like, shooting or something. So, I'm gonna put him here for now. I'll put him next to the dead body, like, more support. It's gonna be like, look, alien, you're gonna make it. Not really. And, like, these are 45% chances, like... We're not, we're not gonna hit those. It's too early in the game. These guys, these guys are not gonna make it. Um, hmm. I mean, he gets cover like this. And it's not even full cover. What? Alright. Damn, yo, I don't wanna lose anyone. <laughs> I don't wanna lose nobody. How are you flanking? All right, well, if this is flanking, I guess I'll take this shot. I guess I'll take it. Wow, he completely missed. He was aiming, like, for the feet. Yeah, you're right. That's not good, dude. Uh, we're going to have to overwatch because they're going to come up to us. Oh, no, or not. No, he's going to shoot at my guy on the third floor. Oh, no, he's not. Yo, you're lucky he missed. <laughs> and then there's like more aliens. Hey, let's see what you got. Completely missed. <laughs> All right, so now the enemy team is doing Overwatch. Oh no! I don't know if the game's like trying to send a message to me. Like, look, man, this is XCOM. It's not gonna be easy. Yo, we might lose people already. So basically, that guy's being overwatched. Like, this enemy is like overwatching. So if any of my people move, uh, they're going to get shot on sight. The best thing I could do is like grenade. But the only person with a grenade is this guy and some other dude. And these guys don't even throw grenades that far. Look at that. Uh, this is really bad. This is really bad. You're gonna have to reload. Uh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> alright, alright. This is a 45. Can you land a grenade over there, please? Please? Maybe? Nope. It, yo, it's one tile away. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> No! And like he can't move because then. Okay. He has the best shot. Actually, no, this guy might. Alright. I'm really counting on you, Morale. Luke. You're from Canada, right? I think you can land this shot. If, if you land this shot, you give our, our troops the chance to move up and win. Are you ready for that? Ooh, he's ready. What? I, I'm not gonna lie. I really did not. I was not expecting him to succeed. That's actually really good. So the guy that was overwatching us is not there no more. Meaning we could kind of move up. I only want to move up so we could get this uh, full cover over here. But I don't know if I should move him. I think I should move him here. But he could get flanked. All right, I'm gonna move him here then. That was actually a really good shot from Canada. <laughs> I say it like it's an Olympic sport. But um, him being able to do that lets us like breathe a bit. And then this guy, he still can't get a shot, but I don't blame him. It's a far shot and I'm really being, I'm really like playing it safe because I don't want this dude to, to die. He's like two HP. Damn, that guy has all... This guy right here, man. He got all the cover in the world. He is definitely not going to get shot today. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't want him to move. Don't move. Just stay there. You too, dude. I don't, I don't want you to move. 
Alright. Okay, he moved, kind of. Oh, he marked someone. No. So, like, marking someone gives all the other aliens an advantage. But since he moved, he's gonna get shot. Dude, wh who are you aiming at? <laughs> What's your friend? Wow, both of y'all missed. I had high hopes for you guys. You guys were the best of the best. Oh, he's gonna... I don't know who he was aiming for, but he could have got two for the price of one. Okay. So as you can see, this game is not about... Actually, it kind of is about luck. Damn, bro. And he's marked. I kind of want to, like... He's marked. Like, if he's marked, he's actually in danger. Just completely. Um... Damn, he can't even go inside the damn building. I... <laughs> I don't want him out here. <laughs> He's in danger. Now I want him on the third floor. I'm assuming this would be the best cover. Like, he just... He has to hide behind there. You are also in danger. But you have a grenade. But you have a grenade, though. So... I think I could grenade this area. All right, so here's here's my thought process. I throw a grenade. It could possibly kill this guy, and then we all slowly set up on killing that officer dude. You know what? That's a plan. I think I think that works. Unless he misses, but they can't miss grenades. I think I'm pretty sure. Okay, so that that guy died. He has a promotion, but the problem is this soldier could like fire on us. 25%. I don't trust no 25%. I'll put you in full cover and you could kind of take a shot. So that's that's pretty good. Alright Luke, you're, you're going to cover our boy. Unless you have a good shot, but you clearly don't. And I guess I'll start moving you up. I feel like that's a mistake. I should not move this guy up. If I move him up, he's gonna get shot. Literally. It's gonna be like, if I didn't move him, he would've survived. But if I move him up, nah, nah, I'm not gonna. The thing is, he has a grenade though. He has a grenade, so like, oh my god. All right, all right. Meta, you, you're on a stealth mission, okay? You are not gonna get spotted by the enemy. You're gonna like flank him. Watch him die, yo. Oh my god. <laughs> so I'm trying to like flank with this guy so he could like throw a grenade at that alien from far. In fact, I'm really gonna be like stealthy about this. Confirmed. He's not even gonna take a shot or take cover. He's just gonna like work his way around. Oh no. Yo, he is on the brink. He is on the brink of death. <laughs> this freaking alien is just aiming for him. All right, you're still you're still on your stealth mission. Oh my god, I don't even know. There's no like full cover here. I'm gonna have to go here. This is so dangerous because he's by himself. Like, let's say there's like maybe one alien just chilling out here. He's definitely gonna get shot up. I'm gonna put him in this type of. I'm gonna put him here. I guess. All right. I'm telling you, he's on a stealth mission. If he dies, you know, that's on him. Like, he signed the contract. He has no grenades. You know what? I can actually put him here. That way we could... Nah, but he might get shot. He might get shot. Oh, you were marked. That's why you were hiding. Damn. I think it's better to move you up, though. Because you have more HP than anybody else. And you have a grenade. Okay. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna start taking risks. <laughs> okay, he has a shot. Yo, is your grenade game, like, good? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> it's not good. But he's, he's a little bit... He's a little bit away, so... I think... Oh, that's full cover? Perfect. Alright. The problem is he has the disadvantage because of the mark thing on his head. So they they could actually like they could actually shoot him even though he's behind cover he, they get like a like a bonus in accuracy 
my thinking is we're gonna plant the XCOM charge, right? We're gonna plant the XCOM charge. Even if he gets hit, he should be able to survive like, you know, one little critical hit. So if he survives one critical hit, actually, wait, he's able to run. He's able to run back. Nah, he should overwatch though. Yeah, he should overwatch. You need to get out of there. Like, don't even... No, you, you just need to run. Just run and never look back. That's it. I'm like, it. you did your job, clearly. Just, just stay, stay home. Watch them have, like, reinforcements or something. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? He's gonna flank this guy, huh? Yes, he is. Okay, he took he took three points of damage. Three points. He, you panic. Oh my god, I forgot the panic. So basically, oh man. Okay, so basically, if a soldier like takes too much damage, if someone dies on the battlefield, um, there's a chance that your soldiers can panic, which is the worst thing in the world because they just start making their own decisions, and it's never like a smart decision. Like, what he just did was he moved closer to the edge and then took as much cover as he can. But as you can see, this isn't much cover. Like, so he just made a really bad decision. Yo, can you throw a grenade? Because you might just save our panicking friend. No, you can't. But he could move up. So my plan for this guy is to just throw two grenades and end his life. And that might not even end his life. This guy has like 2 HP. <laughs> I'm I'm not shooting weapons because it's like it's a chance that it might not work. And your boy your boy not taking chances right now. The good thing about grenades is they also destroy cover. So it makes him a little bit easier to hit. The problem is I don't think I have a guy that's ready to shoot him. This is a 66% chance. I don't know guys. That or a grenade. Up, oh, grenade doesn't make it. So we have no choice. <laughs> We're gonna have to shoot him. But let's see who else got a shot. Damn, this guy's 2 HP. Like, he's not supposed to be out here in the battlefield. I think he could take a shot from here, though. If he could, that would be, like, awesome. He could. Okay. Alright, guys. I think we're making, we're making it out alive. Hey, what? <laughs> Alright, I think that's it. Mission complete, right? Area is secure. Yo, we almost lost like two contact. people. <laughs> we almost lost two people. That's scary. And that's the first mission. Alright, let's look at our stats. You always get like a mission debriefing. Took me 12 turns. A little slow, a little slow. Killed six enemies and three soldiers got wounded. And we know wounded here means like they're one kill, with their one shot away from death. But I still got that excellence, so. <laughs> oh man. Dealt most damage, Marcus Muller. Most under fire, Muller. I thought Yash was most under fire. <laughs> well, I didn't lose anyone. So, you know, that's a success in my book. Damn, loading screens take a while here. Ah, right, there we go. We land on our giant HQ home base. I bet you they're all wounded. Like, all three of them. Look at that. <laughs> Gravely wounded. Oh, my God. It's the first mission, so, like, they take damage, like, really bad. But they all get promoted, so let's see what we got. Our first person is a grenade. Nope, slasher, ranger. 